Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get CarPlay. I made a video on this a while ago, but I'm going to explain it again and walk through it a little bit more. First, you need a Windows computer. It doesn't work on Mac. I don't know why, but you need a Windows computer. Second, you need a USB with over 3 gigabytes of space. The file you're going to download is large, so you're going to need that extra space. Third, you're going to need a program called WinRAR. Any most Windows computers do come with it or if you have a Windows computer or had one for a while you've probably installed it but you're gonna need it so you just click on either 64-bit if you have a newer powerful computer or 32-bit if your computer is older so once you download it you just open it up it'll install itself you just gotta go through the little walkthrough thing the next thing you need to do is in the description of this video this will all be here actually before you even get that started go to your USB disk make sure that it's in your computer this is where it'll be here somewhere towards the bottom you're gonna right click it you're gonna go to format and then make sure it's on EXFAT if it isn't then it won't work so just make sure that's the option that's not what we're focused on right now right now if you have an XE, no not the XE, if you have the SE or the LE with the small 7 inch screen, you're going to use the first link. So when you click on the link, it'll take you to this. Once you get to this, you're just going to download it, but let me get through the other two links. If you have the 8 inch screen without the navigation, you're going to use the second link. And the 8 inch screen has the JBL thing, so you'll know, you can tell it says JBL somewhere like right above your screen. Now if you have the 8 inch screen with JBL and navigation, then you're just going to use the third and final link. But you have to make sure that the model numbers match up. So by doing, you'll find the model number, you go to settings, you go to general software update and then the model number is always going to be right there but that isn't the main focus right now that's just how you can find the model number so you go to menu you go to general software update and then model number is right there so you got to make sure that your model number matches the uh, carplay support model number so all the numbers that have zero at the end you can get it if your car has 01 or 02 it won't work maybe it works now but and you can try it but it may not pop up so once you find the right link with the right model number and all that you're gonna click it so here it is it's gonna show up on Google Drive for me you just download it I already downloaded it so it's right here I'm gonna open it this is what it's gonna look like you're gonna click on Entune 3.0 base Come on, open. All right. So we're going to... Then we can leave this open. We'll just minimize it. So now you have three things. The README. We can open that so you guys can see what it says. It's going to pretty much tell you everything that I needed. That I already explained. Next thing you're going to open is this. This will... It'll explain to you in depth how to install the program onto your car. So... You're going to download the software onto the USB, which is what I'm showing you what to do. You're going to turn on your car. You're going to go to Setup, General, Software Update. It's all right here. This file is in the... Uh, right here. You'll download it. It's one of the first things you'll see. And when you get to Software Update, you're going to insert the USB into your car. Then here's where the model number is. It'll show you the your current up your current software. It'll be one of these numbers. The new one is 1990. So if you do the USB part right, it'll show up. And then you can click update software. You let it update. You agree to the terms of service. Just leave the software running leave the car running leave the usb on in the car don't take anything out it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes to install that's the one thing you need to do just let it install so 
If you want to get this onto your USB, you're going to click on the top file, double click it. You're going to copy the file. Don't click and drag. You copy files to clipboard. That's going to take some time. It's going to take a couple seconds. It's going to it says not responding right here, and it may not do that, but if you have a Windows 10 computer or Windows 7, it'll say it'll show you how much it installed in the bottom. As you can see, it's moving up slowly but steadily. Once it, it once it goes through, you're gonna go to your USB. There it is. So it copied. You're gonna click, right click, where it says paste, and then you're just gonna. Since I already have it in here, I'm just replacing it. For you guys, you just paste it in. As you can see, it's going to go through. Take some time because it is a large file. But remember, the whole point of this is to make it take its time. You can't rush this. It's going to install within 15 minutes um, or in the uh, description of this video. Make sure that your model number matches up. Make sure you install the right one. And it's a pretty simple process. So it's still going through. It may not work depending on if you leave your car on or off make sure your car's on don't turn it off don't take the keys out don't drive it just leave it in park leave it on it's going to take some time but it should work some people i realize that sometimes it'll mess up their infotainment screen i cannot guarantee that it won't but from what i've seen I've helped many, many people. The video has almost a thousand likes and less than a hundred dislikes. So it's done, it's done well. And I've tried to help as many people as possible. If you need help, just comment. I'm willing to help. Um, you know, it's a good process to do because you learn a lot about your car doing this. It's easy because you you're like, oh man, I can just install software from my computer onto my car. Yeah, a lot of cars are strictly software based, especially Tesla. So being able to get CarPlay for free is always a dope feeling. So now that you have it installed, you're going to right click and then you're going to click on eject. And there, that part is done. Now the next part is just putting it in your car and that's what I'll show you guys in the next part of the video. So just stay tuned. On to this. So next thing, when you get into your vehicle, your Camry, if you don't have one, it won't work. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory, but some people don't know. So, get your shit together. No copyright for me. Uh, we're gonna have the air conditioning on because it is hot as hell. So, you're gonna take your USB, but before you do that, you're gonna go to menu. See how slow it is? You're gonna go to setup. And then you're gonna go to software update. And right when you do that, you're gonna put this, let's get this in. Boom, it's in. Now it's blinking. So we're gonna go to software update. Now. It's gonna say new software was found. So you're gonna click update software. Now it's telling you what it's gonna add. So obviously we're good with this. We agree. Personal data. Yeah, I've, um, I mean, who the hell cares honestly because fuck off N2. Yes. Perfect, I will be back when it is done all right so it's finished installing now turn your engine off all right we're gonna wait and also for everyone asking i've done absolutely everything in this car by myself everything i know it like it's not as complicated as it seems it's pretty simple um now
Oh, no way. Oh, I'm actually... No way. If I just did this for free, when my Toyota dealership was like, uh, 120 would be the required amount. Like, really? For real? 120? Come on. You can do this for free. Why take your shit to a shop when you can do it yourself? Remember that. I'm gonna wait when this shit's done. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see. Come on. That looks promising. That also looks promising. I'm actually like, I'm nervous because I don't know if it worked. Okay, so we're gonna go to menu. Oh. I did it for free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's get NBA going up on this. Oh, that just opened it on my... So, I got it to work entirely, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm very happy about. Thank God. So, I'm going to run down what you need to do. So, first off, you're going to need you're going to need a USB. Second off, watch what I've did first in first in the video because that's the most crucial part, making sure you get it for the right car. This is a base SE model with the base Pioneer and tune. Um, the screen goes in. It's not as high quality, but it's a it's a fucking screen. We didn't have these things ten years ago, not even. But once you do that, you're gonna take your USB, plug it into your car, then go to settings, well menu, then settings, then software update. It will, if you installed the right one, it'll pop up there. Then it's gonna install a bunch of shit. You just wait, that's all you need to do. When it tells you to take it out, just take it out. It may update it again, just so, cause it's common. This is like, this is just us doing it. This isn't Toyota officially giving it to us, but it works like a charm. Um, I mean, I can go to, I can click maps. Or maybe it's because I'm recording, but... Oh, yeah. See? There we go. Yeah. I need to set everything up, but it works. It works just like a charm. Thank you for watching, and yeah.